the provisions. When God says to provide for the home, He put the man in charge of that, but that does not mean you forsake the things of God to provide for your family. You actually are a better provider by not forsaking the things of God so that the blessings of God are found in your home. Well, I don't like that message, Pastor Boyle, because I think I'm supposed to be the provider of the house. And you know what? There's times where I have to deny the spiritual things, take care of the physical things, because I'm not going to be worse than an infidel. All right, Matthew 6, 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father know that you knoweth that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. It's pretty clear, doesn't it? You seek God first, God will take care of you. So, Mr. Uh, 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 leader of the home, you know, that husband, that father, that, that leader that God has placed you to be, and you say, well, you know what? i got to make sure there's, there's food in the cupboard. Yes, you do. Here's the best way to do it. Serve God. Amen. That's the best way I know how to do it. Serve God. Well, you know, if I quit my job because they're asking me to work on Sundays and I go work over here, it's not the financial decision that's good for my family. So, therefore to be in accordance to providing for my family, I'm going to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. How many understand that's a recipe for disaster? Yeah. That's not how it works. Now all of a sudden, yes, you might be the provider of your home, but you're missing the blessings of God. The message tonight is not how to be the provider of your home. The message tonight is how to be that family that's blessed.